good. So the last couple of evenings before we put the animals away, we've been coming down and picking the strawberries. What strawberries are ripe right now. And we've been getting, I don't know, about a container this big. And I think we have enough so far to do a load oh. of strawberry jam. Big huge slug was on that one. Yuck, yuck. We've been having some slug issues. Yeah, we've been having some slug issues. Been dealing with. Yeah, Not I know. Ready. It fell off in my hand. on the homestead we're going to start processing all the berries strawberries we've picked over the last four or five days and we're going to process them into strawberry jam so first off my wife we my wife will rinse them off here's some unrinsed berries we've got quite a few so far this year she'll rinse them off and take the caps off so they look like this Then my daughter and I will mash them up fairly well. We kind of like big chunks in our strawberry preserves or strawberry jam. So we'll get to that process next. So with my little helper's help, she's going to start smashing the berries like this, sweetheart. And you want to get them good and smashed. Okay? okay. You want to start smashing? Do you I'm need probably to... thinking, I like chunks of strawberries in my jam, though. Yeah, we like chunks. So my little helpers smashed up quite a bit of berries here. I'm going to take six cups of berries. I've got my sugar uh, all measured out. I've got my measuring spoons for or the pectin. So we want six cups of berries. So I'll measure out six cups of berries here. up. We want to measure in only about four and a half TPS tablespoons. I gotta get a spoon for stirring. Use this one. 
So one, two, three, four, and a half. And we'll stir this in, get it to a boil that cannot be, a rolling boil that cannot be stirred down. And when it gets up to that rolling boil, then we'll add the sugar, bring it up to a boil again, and, t and let it boil for one minute. And then as it cools, it'll thicken up. This has started boiling again after adding the sugar. I'll set a timer for one minute and let this boil for a minute while I constantly stir it. And the foam, before we put it in the jars, we'll ladle off that foam or take a spoon and kind of scrape the foam off. So there's our timer, turn off the heat. And we'll move this. Over here, and that is done. Let this sit, get our jars ready. All right, so I'm gonna start taking these jars out. Before I do that, I'm gonna get a little bit of this hot water and pour it over my lids, because it makes that <clears throat> rubber gasket seal a lot better, hot. And then we'll have to get these out of here. Where's the And then we'll have to add more water to this so it'll be ready for canning. Jars. Alright, so we have our canner full. We're waiting for it to come to a boil. And all this extra I'm just going to put in a big quart jar. And have it for fresh in the fridge. Because it does not go to waste around here. Gently look. You want me to gently look? Do you want me to do it? I can help you. I just need you to stir this. Do the old it's just, swap. It's going to overflow. You're gonna, I just think you want me to take water out as you drop it down. I don't know if it'll overflow. A little bit, so we'll scoop a little water out of that. A little bit of hot water. Yeah, you just need one to two inches of water above your, your tops of your jars. Am I just watching this boil or should I add sugar? Add sugar. And now we'll put the top on, set the timer for 15 minutes. Three cups of water is going to kill us twice. We have a couple of seconds left on our timer and they'll be ready to come out. Here's what we have just to go fresh in our refrigerator. It's a pint and a half jar and a quart jar. 
there's a timer. Ooh, you're brave grabbing. Okay. Yeah. Lift that up so they hang. I had a bad feeling about that one jar. Hopefully it didn't break. Some of our jars are hand-me-down jars over the years from my mom and came from my grandmother. And it's always that was that one. It didn't break. always a worry about these jars if they're going to break. That was fun. Yeah, good job. Thank you. You're welcome. No broken jars. No broken jars. So this is what we got so far out of our berries this year. Hopefully we'll have another, another load here soon. Hello from the Mossy Rock Homestead. I hope you enjoyed our canning video. This was our yield out of the strawberries in our garden this year. We had 29 pints. We gave some to my family, uh, my sister and my mom. And anything else? No, pretty much covered it all. Um, I wish the canning process went as fast as it does in the video, but it is a labor of love. We have our picky eater here with us, and um, this strawberry jam is like gold in our pantry because at times that's all I can convince her to eat is strawberry jam. The raspberries are starting to come on. We'll, uh, we'll do a video of canning some habanero raspberry jelly, which goes good over cream cheese with a little bit of salmon. So stay tuned. We hope you watch. Bye.